Uh, hi guys, we're now live on Facebook. Uh, I'm here at the finish line of the UMCA Silver State 508. Uh, Joe Barr is currently on his way in. Uh, we're at 32 hours and about 45 minutes or so, so we'll get the time confirmed for you uh, in a little while. So we'll stand by, uh, he should be coming in. Let me see, get the buttons right there. This is Jillian's iPhone. You should be coming in with a crew car shortly. Guys, this has been a difficult race, a real difficult race. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who followed us uh, throughout the whole race. Uh, checked out our lives, checked out our videos. It was absolutely amazing. It was a tough, tough race as well. Uh, last night in the nighttime, it got so, so cold. It was like Irish weather, you know. Uh, you think you're in Nevada, it's gonna be hot, but this was the coldest year they had. So really, um, uh, managing him last night was difficult. So uh, we're here now, so 506 miles in about 32 hours and 45 minutes. So we'll get that time confirmed. He should be coming in very, very, very shortly. Uh, guys, if you can help us as well, uh, share our stuff, uh, comment below as well. Uh, we can answer your questions live. So, oh, here he comes possibly. Here he comes. Here he comes. Celtic Fox. Here he comes. Solo rider. Here he comes. Here he comes. Silver State. 2017. Yeah, that's okay. Here he comes. There he is. Joe Barr. 58 year old Joe Barr. The Celtic Fox. There he is, Joe Barr! Celtic Fox, everybody. All right, you made it. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Welcome back to Reno. Whoa. How do you feel, Joe? I'm pretty empty. I'm pretty screwed, like so. <laughs> You're supposed to be. Yeah. If you felt great, then you didn't ride hard enough. Yeah. Oh, it's a hard event. Hard well, we're live, we're live on Facebook, time. Joe. 32 hours, 50 minutes. There we go, Joe. 32 hours and 50 minutes. 506 miles. How do you feel? Oh, I'm pretty wasted right now. So I'm ball. It was a it was a great race, you know. I, I tried to fight in the front right from the start for the overall. By the guy who caught me in the nighttime, he was just too strong, and I couldn't stay with him. So I decided that I would just settle for trying to fight for second overall and see if I could win the classification. So, yeah. For those that have been watching our videos, Joe, it was so tough last night, wasn't it? Ah, oh, the cold. It was so cold on top of the hill. It was so cool, you know, even my bottles froze and we just had to put everything I could put on to try and offset it and I think it maybe, it, it really affected a lot of the other riders too. I, I've experienced cold in Italy like before but not like that, it yeah. was just extreme. We had to go, we had to go the full work, so keeping you hydrated yeah. as well, it was high, high altitude as well. Uh, it uh, was, it was difficult but uh, the crew were there as well and I think the crew are here. Everyone's here. So there's Alan and Jillian. Say hello, Alan. And say hello, Jillian. You can give me a wee hug now, boys. There we go. I got one, two, Joe. Good. So that's us. There we go. The BRL products were fantastic. The Trifield product, like this, you know, the electrolyte protocol that we had in it, allowed Jill to make sure that the hydration was right, so the altitude didn't affect me this time, like so. You know, I've had a bad experience before with altitude, but we've really overcome it with BRL products and uh, the RX altitude as well. Those two products have really helped us this time, like so. Uh, so we could control it. Absolutely. So uh, you know, I'm I'm super pumped because uh, you know BRL been a big sponsor for me for 2012 Ram, and uh, they're like in San Diego, which is next state across. <laughs> so it's you know it's a big big win for me to to be able to repay them and. I'd like to say a big thanks to Chris Jacob, who's the CEO there, and all his partners, and also Bob Gentile, who's the marketing he's manager. Now, yeah, hey guys. And Bob's just been just been absolutely phenomenal since 2012 for me. Okay, Joe, what was your toughest moment of the race? Uh, I think, I think for sure at the top of the, the big climb when we were up near seven and a half thousand. And everything was just freezing up. Yep, that was for sure. The your, your bottles are freezing. Your yeah. balaclava was freezing. Yeah. We didn't expect that in Nevada, did we? Oh, uh, you know, I, I just, I didn't think that that kind of weather existed here. Like, and uh, I mean, even coming down off the climb, it was just so cold. I couldn't. Even, there was times I couldn't even hold the handlebars. Uh, there were a couple of times I had to pull over and just 
try and get my hands armed up and we were going through like three or four different sets of gloves to try and get my fingers to function again like I couldn't break and I couldn't change gear and uh, so yeah I mean this is a this is a super tough race it really is so uh, I mean, I'm completely wasted right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, and for a man that's come the whole way from Ireland with no previous experience in this race, uh, but you've experienced in lots of races, what did you bring to this race? We could we only really uh, routed 28 miles of it, so the rest was a bit of a surprise for us. What did you think of the course? I mean, it's a super tough course, for sure. Doing the altitude, like the big, big climbs. The climbs are incredibly long and they're very, very steep, especially in the nighttime. You can go do them both directions, like, ah, uh, so... That was, yeah, for sure, like, you know, but, uh, you know, I know we're an Irish team, like, but, you know, today again, we're the best in the world for one day, so, you know, it's really, really good. I'd like to just uh, mention uh, uh, one of my sponsors from uh, back home in Ireland, in Derry, in Maidon. Um I'd like to say a big thank you to Mr. John Deary, who's the CEO of MIM, these people here, and he's been a uh, super sponsor over the years, and um, all his staff are big big fans of what we're doing so I'd just like to say thanks to John forever. Joe, your entire family are watching as well. Mama Barr, Sylvia, yeah. Charlene, your son Ruben, yep. Ross. What do you want to say to them? Ruben and Ross watching, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they were there. Hey boys. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know my, my family and whatever are, uh, they're big supporters like for the whole team, not just for me. And uh, you know they know the effort it takes for us to come and do what we come and do so you know, we've proven again that we're playing in the big league and, uh, you know, it's not easy, but, you know, we're doing it and uh, I have no doubt we'll be, we'll be back. Joe, finally, we'll catch up with you tomorrow, but what's uh, next for you? Oh, I'm going for a shower and some sleep <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some champagne with the team. Right, and for, for sure. the team, we have the endurance workshop on October the 21st. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to that. We'll actually. go live then and we'll, we'll bring everybody <laughs> into the ultra cycling world the world the world in yeah, cycling so for sure can i just say thanks to everyone who's been supporting us through the whole race and uh big thanks to all the messages and all i get time maybe tonight to be able to sit down and have a look through everything but uh you know all the support's super important for us okay That's joe right. we will speak to you tomorrow uh we'll let you get in get a shower yeah. well done thank you so that's him folks Guys, thank you very much yeah, for tuning in. No, we're going to do medals and jersey. Keep it oh, running. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll keep it running then. Yeah, keep it running. Yeah, definitely, this year is definitely especially hard. So, guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in all the way through the, uh, the race. Uh, your comments were very, very supportive for Joe. Whenever he was in a bad place, we just read them out to him. So, uh, for all his family and for all his friends, there we go. There's the jersey. Step back closer to the banner, please. All right, there's the jersey. There we go. And so, first in the age category, second overall. Fantastic. And first place in the coolest accent of the whole team division. <laughs> there you are. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, well done. You're welcome. It's fun watching you guys. Let me get some photos of you real quick. Okay, guys, that's us. Uh, we will catch up with you uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Charlie, thank you. It's been an extre extremely proud moment. We'll catch up with you tomorrow for a proper sit-down interview with Joe and the rest of the team. Ciao!